Hello and welcome, I'm Alex and today I will be having a bit of a woodworking restoration but first there's no way I can work like this so the shed's gonna have to have a tidy up first so what we've got here are two small wood planes and two spoke shaves both used for very similar applications such as shaving and planing wood um, the the one is a record uh, 220 plane and the other is a Stanley 220 wood plane by the looks of it yeah um, I would say they were pretty much made identically a um, few little differences such as Stanley's written on one and records written on another um, but apart from that yeah they shouldn't be too bad the spoke shaves one's a Stanley and that's made in Ing and there's some other bits there that I can't see and the other is uh, just says British made it does have an identification number there of sorts by the looks of it so I think the best thing to do with these is Get them wire wheeled and see what we're left with. I'm also going to try a bit of paint stripper on the the handle and the main body but I'm not holding out much hope as to how good this is going to be. While everything's either being de-rusted or being treated to some paint remover I'll get on with the little handles. They've now been in the paint stripper for some while, so I'm going to give them a quick agitation, then stick them in some water to clean them off and see what's uh, what's left. Turns out that the record one was actually um, a navy blue colour. I thought it was black to start with, but um, so we've got one black Stanley and a navy blue record. So we'll give those a quick uh, solution and see what happens. Most of the paint's come off now, um, but there's still an awful lot of rust under there. I'm not sure how much of it is the remainder of rust or paint, so what I'm going to do is stick the whole lot, leave it for 24 hours in some deoxy um, rust treatment, and then give it all a good wire brushing afterwards. The blades are coming out quite well now as well, and again, once they've been scrubbed up, it should look good. After much cleaning, this is what I'm left with. Uh, I would say the Stanley is quite possibly slightly better condition than the record. Um, the one spoke shave with no manufacturer's marking on, other than British made, has come up really well. Uh, blades, obviously blunt, as are all the other blades. Um, but yeah, it's in pretty good condition, to be fair. The Stanley one is a number... 64 you can only just about read that there um but it is so pitted the blades massively pitted um i don't think we're going to be able to do a lot with that but if we can salvage at least one working one that would be good so the next process is going to be to get the sandpaper out and start trying to get a bit of uh flattening back to some of these and get rid of a few of the minor scratches if at all possible That's all the sanding done now. So we're going to be getting onto the paint. I'll give everything a quick clean down with a bit of acetone first. Uh, the black is going to be dead simple. I've already got some hammerite smooth black. 
Uh, the navy blue, I'm going to try and make out of some blue and some black. So we'll see how that goes anyway. That's my interpretation of a navy blue. I've checked it with the wife, whose eyesight is better than mine. Um, and she says it's navy as well. But we'll see what it looks like when it dries out. That way, if I need to darken it or lighten it, then I can do. So I'll get those painted and you'll see them in a minute. I'm also going to have a go at DIY sharpening of the blades as well. Um, obviously, this is not something I've done before, so it's going to be a lot of trial and error. I've read a few uh, articles on it, so I think I know what I'm doing. So we'll wait and see in the long run. So that's the sharpening done to the best of my ability, obviously. Uh, it does need a lot more work, I think. But I just wanted to give it a quick go and see how it went. The blade itself is just not level. So I'm not expecting 100% sound cut. Um, but yeah, and again, I don't know how to adjust these things properly. So that's time. I have leveled this bit of manky old damp pallet off with another plane already. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. Yeah, I'm reasonably pleased with that. I'm getting some decent cuts. I think I need to fine tune the blade a little bit more. But yeah, overall, it's a lot better than it was. I've now taken refuge in the house, in the box room. Uh, it's about zero degrees outside in the shed. So uh, yeah, it's far too cold for me. So that's everything painted. Uh, the blue hasn't come out exactly as I was hoping, but um, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.